एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू फिगर इट आउट व्हेन वी स्टार्ट एन एक्टिविटी एज पर द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन दे आर सेइंग इट विल गो बैक इनटू द स्टैक या इट आल्सो डिपेंड्स व्हाट काइंड ऑफ अ टास्क वी विल चूज लाइक दिस वन सो एवरी टाइम व्हेन एनी वन स्टार्ट द एंड्रॉयड डिवेलपमेंट आई थिंक दैट इज द most of the time first or second place you are going to understand this concept you start fighting with yourself okay you need some activity in front of you you are trying to find finish 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 then you do the google or stack overflow and you figure it out oh, oh there is a some kind of a flag you need to put and what you want that you will get free so like single task single instance so what we will do today we will jump in and we will try to understand is there any real stack implementation under the hood they are using where they are saving these activities once we start and if if we found it's easy then we will try to understand also how these flags are working or maybe there is a possibility we are not able to figure it out how it's working but still it's it's okay so this is our activity so we can start from this so start activity now this one is <clears throat> so as we know every activity we always extend from the system platform api activity from here we are going inside of this activity this is still same then we have these two option okay so under the hood if you are not calling start activity for result but they are using the same and after that in this case there are two options one option if parent is equal to null then start do this otherwise do this so okay what is parent mm, we can check so parent is an activity and who is setting this down is child get parent parent equal to equal to null not sure what is parent means is it means the activity parent or is it related to fragment look like the i is can i ask like hey give me my parent back in an activity okay so we can get the activity makes sense okay so from i think if i have a main activity and then the detail activity in case of a detail activity if i will say okay this dot get parent i will get the main activity i hope i am right okay going back again where we started okay i need to start again start activity okay so now at this place we have two classes one is a main thread if a are not equal to null then do send activity result what is this so we're saying error is result info add callback schedule local scheduling and who's calling this method it's called on a main thread activity thread and what about the other one because i think that looks more important to me as we we discuss in our last two videos i got one and the the other one where we discuss the context api we found this one is doing a new activity start so on the basis of that hunch i'm going in this so instrumentation instrumentation the the, the method name is execute start activity simple activity i think so this one so that is called what is this method execute a start activity call made by the application the default application implementation takes care of updating any activity monitor blah 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 all the parameters okay we can start understanding is there any information related to stack um, okay then after that we are calling this activity task manager get service so get service is a it means the activity task manager service because this one give under the hood i task and i think so ipc communication is going on here if i'm not wrong so we can open activity task manager service so this one is called and the method name is start activity 
so start activity i think this one so once this is called this one is called so this one okay until now we started from the main activity from main activity we are calling our the activity extends from the platform activity from there we call the start activity for result in start activity for result we found instrumentation in instrumentation there is a method execute some uh, something i think so execute activity and that that is under the hood calling activity task manager dot get service dot uh, start activity which is calling now this overloading uh no this one is an independent method now this one is also overloaded but okay then it's going inside of this now at this point now we have something new get activity start controller and this one is doing what so it's getting some kind of a user id um nothing else so we can move okay <laughs> nice so we found uh, a comment inside of an platform api android platform switch to user app stacks here uh to do i have no idea how uh, they um, translate to do in google but most of the time when i write or if i write in in my company to do means okay we need to change something maybe in future so to do switch to user app stack here it means we need to go get activity controller obtain starter then it look like setting the information like a builder pattern or something around that and then in the end it's calling execute so this method is important resolve necessary information according to the request parameter okay so resolve what does mean that resolve activity record if the caller has not already resolved the activity we are willing to do so here by the way should we jump into the result activity or not under the hood what is going on i think that one is out of our today's topic we should go back because we are mainly focused on to figure it out are they really using some kind of a stack to save the activities when we open main detail more detail more detail then click back and they are popping the as per the concept is mentioned in a api doc so execute then from here most probably once the things are resolved there should be some call new activity created if the new record is the one that started a new activity has created and start activity is equal to last record then what they are doing they are saying okay supervisor notify activity launch some kind of an uh, notify activity launch looks like the observer pattern to notify someone who registered with this but where we should go hmm. get external result on execution complete what is this obtain starter mm -hmm. so we are random activity starter what is this class controller for inter interpreting how and then how and then launching an activity this class collects all the logic of determining how an intent and flag should be turned into an activity and okay nice so i think this is the class which is responsible to translate information from manifest file like you know when we create a new activity in a manifest we always give some information flags affinity task affinity and, and many other flags are there so according to this documentation it looks like that we are in the right place now we will see okay yes so launch mode then task behind launch flags so if i'm not wrong it's called launch mode default mode launch mode so yep how many types we have standard single top single task you can read this i'm not going into detail of this one but we found where they are taking care of a launch mode and then launch flags and what are launch flags is there any launch flag okay i think these are the launch flags yep so first thing we achieved i think so maybe 10 50 20 maybe 50 or 80 percent now we are going next activity record activity record what is this activity record okay we will see back 
then we have a task task fragment what this task fragment is doing here task fragment maybe this is not a fragment which i am thinking okay what this task fragment is a basic container can that can be used to contain activities or other okay it's not that, that fragment which we use for the ui so the task and task fragment we will come back on this we need to read this and this because they are also mentioning here terminology tasks so is this the same so task is a task fragment that can contain a group of activities to perform a certain job activities of the certain okay yeah so it's same so we can see maybe the definition of a task for task and its back so A task is a collection of activities that users interact with when trying to do something in your app. These activities are in a stack, the back stack. Yes, so basically this task is looks like a stack where we are pushing according to this definition. For example, email app might have. So I think we found where they are saving this information, but not the place where we are invoking these methods. So we need to read these two later. First, we will uh, review the remaining one. Okay. activity record m last start activity record okay last activity record we attempted to start so it means kind of a top of a stack hopefully yes and what's next there's a factory default factory what this one is doing set controller octane recycle no need to go inside of that request container for capturing initial start request Mm -hmm. is there any information for us any method set resolve activity not interested for now okay this is the, i think so the constructor yep activity starter then this is the set method not interested related to package execute to the request parameter provide and execute so this one is resolving this one we already reviewed i think so if i'm not wrong yes then not interested what are, what other method we have so we can read here add or reprint start activity ta and this compute launch param compute dump execute is launch mode set set hmm. so we can try if we can see what is this method is doing I saw something here launch flags okay well, i think we can read this method so execute request executing activity start request and starts the journey of starting an activity it means someone call this when we are calling start activity someone call this okay who is calling this method it's called from oh so we are going good so from here this call this and then from here what what start happening now setting information activity info task task fragment from the request okay so this one maybe we can so launch flags we are getting so if we are sending the flags at a runtime then most probably we are getting this maybe it's 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 coming also from the manifest i'm not sure but launch flags and if this one flag is like this then do this activity what is this information so what is this flag activity forward result? I'm not aware of this. So if certain descendant is being used to launch a new activity from an existing one, then the flight or of the existing activity will be transferred to the new activity. Okay, but I never use this flag. Then add category. Mm. So what is happening? Activity options, service controller, interceptor, set states. Still, it looks like setting the information for some work. Sender locked. Again, flags. 
okay so prevent reuse of review activity each app needs their own review activity by default activity launch with new task or new document try to reuse it okay so here they are managing flags if these are sets then do something and then okay this is the flag they are updating overriding or updating and then after they are setting to new intent so they are going to create a new intent uh -huh. then they are putting more information nice then still in the same method yep create launch intent okay activity record so here what they are doing they are giving the information caller app id intent all that information which is important activity record so it means we should read this an entry in the history task representing an activity oh wow we found the class so according to this definition it look like activity record an entry in the history task so basically when we create a new activity we call the start intent they create a an activity record against that and then they are saving this information in a task okay now so we will come back to these three classes what's next um, only allow app switching to be resumed if activity is not a restricted background okay then next start activity unchecked so what is this method start an activity while most of preliminary checks has been done and caller has been confirmed that holds necessary permission to do so beautiful here also ensure that the starting activity is removed if the start was not successful okay so now we have a pretty near to that area start activity root task transition controller what does this do transition controller handles all the aspects of re recording and synchronizing transitions is it like uh, related to animations i'm not sure okay then going next Mm, handle start result is this method is interesting or should we check i think we should check uh, this method it look like this one is if the start result is success ensure that the configuration of the start activity matches the current display otherwise clean up unassociated containers to avoid leakage it ends the root task where the successful started activity results okay root task activity star is result successful if it's already uh, activity is ready then do this otherwise return so uh, we come from here there should be something in between so once the transition is done transition controller player create transition remote transition set remote transition collect, collect is done in get options service dot default layout window layout tracing okay start activity inner okay so i think this method so before that unchecked now we are in inner start an activity and determine if this activity should be adding on the top of an existing task and deliver new okay nice we are looks like we're pretty near what we're looking for oh nice i like these type of comments so to do b task number make it easier to exercise code path through start activity in there make it easier to exercise code path okay so there is first compute launching task flag then source okay we, we should read this looks so if the caller is not coming from another activity but has given us an explicit task into which they would like us to launch the new activity then let's see about doing that so source record null so it look like we can run activity from multiple places one is in our app also we can use gen like os level result uh, resolution so by using implicit intents something like that but this one is where we are doing this one is okay launch single instance launch single task if that will happen then what you should do then this 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 okay but until now it look like they are only setting the information updating the information nothing more than that 
and who call this then do this then intent launch flags okay yeah so it's it's because it's a imperative code object oriented so states are updated here and now we are giving this then what's next task previous top task get the pre focused root task and then get reusable task no idea no need to go inside where they are adding okay this one is nice so i remember there are some flags which uh, uh, i forgot the flag like for example i have a activity a then activity b then activity c then activity d and then i start to call again activity b so if i set that task it will check i think so in the in inside of a task if there is an already activity if yes they will take that and move on the top so it look like to me if 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 i'm right that is something kind of like reuse task uh, but this one is task not an activity so task is a whole stack mm, not sure i'm mm, existing task that should be used for or maybe if i have a separate existing task as a single instance because if I'm not wrong, single instance means create a separate task for this specific activity. And then if I try to run again that instance, I think so it, it will check if that task is, is there any task? If yes, reuse that maybe. Okay, then compute launch params. Okay, is allowed to start, nice. Then here we are going to do target task top. We are creating a new task and now we what is this okay null otherwise give this recycle the target task for this launch why we need to do recycle don't know maybe we already used the purpose of this target task is complete uh, but not going inside of a recycle task we are more deliver to current top if needed if the activity being launched is the same as the one currently at the top then we need to check if it should only be launched once okay get launch root task if the root i think it's when we start first time app if i'm not wrong there is no task so first time it will create maybe then if new task is true task to affiliate launch task behind source set new task else if adding to task so it look like add or reparent starting activity looks like this method is doing adding to task and what else move to front so it look like the uh, move to front means the same which we discuss uh, like ta in task we have activity a activity b activity c activity d and i think once i want activity b start again and i have a flag then it may it look like okay move that already open activity b on a front uh, i think we can go inside of this method and this method but still it's pretty long okay what else then started task log start activity get task fragment clear last post activity this task fragment is this one not the ui component or ui api is task switch Top running. I think until at this point the, 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 the activity is already pushed into the stack but where is that here because it looked like here they are mostly doing logging and the information so we found here two method one is this set new task what is this so it create a user create a task then this method I think this is the same method which is calling here and what this will do okay task fragment new fragment equal to task so if in task fragment not equal to the task is created and added to the leaf task by task fragment organizer request if the task are resolved and different then i'm to repent it are not equal to task should reparent in task fragment otherwise new parent then activity got top running activity so we are asking Currently, the this is a simplified version of tokening and that provides a number of optional skip overs mods. It is intended to use with the activity controller too. So it looked like they give me the top of uh, the activity which is on a st stack, but still we are looking for where is that stack. And now this is my top. Then top not equal to null. Then top dot get task fragment. And get task get task. Then new parent dot add child start activity and this 
what is this new parent task fragment and i am saying okay task fragment add child and what this do so now we are in a add task fragment so line number 1681 again we i am going top so we can read again so a basic container that can be used to contain activities or other task fragment which also be managed the activity life cycle and updates the visibility so basically a basic container that can be used contain activities or other task fragments so we are here add child method and what is happening here task activity activity super dot add child what is super dot as the input window container has a child this container at then um, this one is i think so we are in array list now and what is this no and now i don't so this add child child dot activity record i don't see what is this super dot add child so window container and window container what is window container is doing so window container common functionality for classes that can hold windows directly to through their children in a hierarchy form okay so we can read because add is throwing here or maybe what we can do first we can read the task and activity record so task is a task fragment it's extend this from task fragment so task basically task fragment is a window container okay so there is a hierarchy window container we saw this task fragment is extends from the window container and then task fragment is extends task extends the task fragment a task at time that can contain a group of activities to perform a certain job activities of the same task so it means they are all using the same method but is there any stack kind of an api where they are pushing that new so this one is called activity record set process yep so the activity manager package manages the life cycle of process in the system through process record however it is important for the window manager package to be aware of the process and their state since it affects how wm manages windows and activity this class that allows the process record window process controller where we saw this is it so yeah so we are giving here at finished or crash top activity and we are giving here and then we are giving also my freeze so i think it's good to go inside of this class and check if there is activity is it really activity record at last uh, all activities running in the process i think that is specific to that uh, the one app all activities so there is an array list not a stack and how they are using add activity if needed uh, so they are checking uh, contains if already they are return if not then they are adding which still i will say okay currently it looks like a stack working like a stack then removing okay remove uh so remove is again simple the function of a array not the and then clear activity so they are doing a clear it means mm, is yep removing all then get top activity display area last index activities dot get index next record okay nice stop freezing activities then finish activities in this case what we are saying activities loop get one by one and then finish all of them but uh how they are saving if they are adding if they should finish from end not start i don't know then is interesting to user 
then has running activity so in this case package name then we are checking against the package name mm -hmm. has started activity launch activity so we are getting this information and then we are checking inside of this if it's already there continue stop true false has resumed so i think this is the class which you can read more i think we we i took a lot of time because i'm also struggling to figure it out and so as a summary we started from the main activity main activity called start activity activity then instrumentation then inst instrumentation is calling exact exact what is that method start activity and then execute from that we come to i think so activity starter then activity starter is creating an activity record we found every activity has a object i'm not sure it's a it's as a composition or how they are saving but every activity has an activity record which is going to save in process controller where i saw plus they have task task fragment just like they mentioned but as per my understanding the activity is saved in a window process controller array list and this information is attached here and like like here you can see we can access this in a task so we can check on how we are using this a recent task so information is so these three four classes are playing with each other but in the end this one is the one who is in my opinion as per our exploration has that stack and which is not under the hardest stack it's an array list so see you in the next video bye